looks like scary Halloween. Hello, hello, hello. It's Nikki Manting, and welcome to the second half of our Apple Follies tonight on this lovely fourth Sunday in January. Can you believe that 2023 is already almost one month over? This is like craziness. Anyway, what is not crazy is the fact that we have this awesome new house team, the Upside Down Players, doing a set for you right now. Come on up, everybody. Welcome. Yes, hello, everybody. We are the Upside Down Players. My name is Adam Colley. <laughs> I am coach of these very talented people. And tonight, we are going to be doing an Armando for you. Now, this is an improv form where we are going to give a suggestion to the group. And based on that suggestion, there will be some real life monologues, meaning these will be stories that actually happened to these people. And we will use those stories to inspire improv <laughs> scenes. So it'll be a mix of real life stories with uh, funny improv scenes. And to get this very talented group started, <laughs> I'm going to give them a suggestion. And that suggestion is going to be charge charge is the suggestion and now we bring Thank you, you an armando well charge um i uh i live in atlanta georgia and um i was driving to the east coast with um a boyfriend we were going to savannah for a few days and um we're, it, we the weather was pretty bad and uh you know with lots of thunder and rain and lightning and uh and uh at one point in the uh in the drive we were at a gas station and uh all of a sudden a bolt of lightning like hit hit the earth like missing one of the um one of the, uh, you know, um, the, the, the gas things uh, by like mere feet. And it was like one of those kind of like, I can't believe we, I can't believe we, we survived this. I mean, this, like, is somebody looking out for us? Are we going to be okay? Is, is uh, like, let's get out of here. You know, that kind of thing. When's the rain going to start? You know, duck and cover all that. So, you know, that's kind of the closest um, thing I've ever uh, experienced to a real close charge. There's some things that we just don't do in the rain. I, I do you do you really think it's a good idea to fly that kite with all that metal on it? I won't know until I try. Why can't I try? Well, well, in in seventh grade, I learned that you know the lightning is going to strike metal and then it's going to that that electrical charge is going to come down the metal and if you're holding the other end of that it, you go no 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 it it captures the electricity i'm doing this because i really need to save on electricity my bills are so high i just thought this would be an economical way to get my electric bill down don't Barbara, I love you. I mean, you're you're my wife. I love you. I don't want you to go up in flames. Well, Janet, it's Janet. It's our electric bill. This is. I'm, I'm thinking there are so many things we could be saving for if we didn't have to pay so much in electricity. Oh, oh, like that trip around the world. Yeah, could see? Do that. Now we're on the but, same. But 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 if you do get struck by lightning and survive and survive then maybe if we took that trip around the world you you may not enjoy it just just thinking about you know maybe not having all your limbs or perhaps um your hair 
this is how much I love you. I'm willing to suffer however much I need to suffer so that we can take that trip together. Oh. It doesn't matter if I enjoy it as long as you're there with me. Oh. As long as it's an all-you-can-eat type of trip. Edit. Doctor, doctor, look. You've put the paddles just four inches away. They're not gonna, they're not gonna come back to life. You've missed the place where they're gonna be able to recharge them. But if I'm near, that's just as good as being right on the spot. I mean, that's what I'm thinking today. No, 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 you're, you're off base, you're off. Hey, pass me some of that gauze. Maybe we could at least staunch the bleeding. We'll pass me some gauze, yeah. Thank you. Oh, good grief. No, but, but doctor, nurse, try again. Nurse, I know you can do it. Nurse Ratchet, I don't really, I don't really appreciate being chastised in front of anybody in this operating room. I mean, when I put the paddles on, the paddles are exactly where I put them, and that's exactly what's going to get shot, that part that I put them on. You know, the part you put it on was the bed. You put it two feet over from their chest. Nurse Ratchet, clear. Clear. Great. Oh, my God. You got my arm. Are you kidding me? You can't even put the paddles on. Oh, my God. Just what I want That's to That's what happens to nurses that talk back to doctors. Oh. <laughs> God. Fine. Pass me the scalpel. I'll do it myself. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not falling for that again. I remember last week when I passed you the scalpel and you cut one of my toenails off with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens. Tit for tat, as they say, you know, you're going to blow me up. I'm going to blow you up. Nurse Ratchet, <laughs> I am just getting tired of your wayward communication with me. Fine, then just make the coffee. I'll take a cup. Thank oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. A month ago, when I fell for that and brought you in a cup of coffee, and then you didn't even drink it? Well, you, again, instead of pouring it straight in, you poured it to the side right on me. What do you expect? I'm not going to drink. What am I supposed to lap it up with my hand? I mean... You and I have quite the history. That's for sure. We oh go God. back many years. I remember when you graduated from nursing school. I was there, clap, clap, clapping. Exactly. That should count for something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then you, instead of coming up and, and giving me a hug, you hug the person next to me. You couldn't even make that in the right place. But the person next to you just really needed and looked like they needed a hug. Okay, but this guy, right now, paddle him on the chest, right now, paddle. It's too late. We've been talking so long that he flatlined. I'm sorry. Oh my time God. of 11.04, time of death. Oh my God. You really have got it off. You are so off base. And you're going to get fired. And I'm not taking the hat, the rap for it. I'll tell they'll you. Never fight, they'll never fire me. I have way too much um, pizzazz going on in this hospital. Pizzazz. That's what you call it. Yeah. You know why? Because you're so off base that every they can't fire you because everything you do is so, even where you park your car, you've taken over from the head surgeon, you park to the side of that so they can't even get in. Everything. Exactly. I mean, John, the head surgeon, he thanks me all the time for taking that spot because that's a spot in the sunshine where his dashboard got way too hot. And so therefore... In his Prius, his electric Prius, he doesn't want a hot dashboard, Nurse Ratchet. Oh, God, Dr. Jones, look, here's another patient. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. At least now get the IV in the arm. Don't, don't put it up his nose or some other weird place. And certainly don't get it near me. 
I don't bother with putting IVs in. That's your job. Okay, great, fine. At least I'll get it in right. I'm going to get it right on him and right up you. Get it. <laughs> oh. We've been driving for four days. I wish you'd get up a little earlier so we could start earlier. You know, we, we don't get started till you sleep in the hotel. We don't get started until like noon and then we drive till late at night. Look, Josephine. <laughs> Look, Josephine. We're going to make it to our class reunion. Look, it's been 20 years since we've seen everybody. We're going to get to Poughkeepsie on time. Now, if you want to get there early, you can drive all night. I can sleep. You know, we'll have it all under control. But you know, I have this sleeping disorder. And I, I know. just, you know, I just like a little empathy. Well, I've been doing all the driving because of your sleeping disorder, and I'm about to fall asleep. I've been taking these no dose and those those bottles of stuff. I think I really could use a break. Well, you know, this air feels really good when I unwind this. Uh, oh, the uh, the window. Oh, I think it's starting to wake me up a bit. Whew. How about, how about if I reach over and grab the steering wheel while you lay back and sleep? Just keep your foot on the pedal, okay? Okay. Oh, that's a, that's that's a great flat. idea. We don't that's even have idea. To, well, Actually, we can just put it on, you know, the drive button, you know. The autopilot. Auto yeah, 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 that's it. I, yeah, I'm so sleepy. I can't even think of what I, the button is. I love you. Car. Yeah, okay. I love, that gonna, you, I love that we got that autopilot. I'm going to hold this. You lean back and... Uh, <sighs> Oh, oh. You, you didn't, what happened? Um, I didn't see that car. No, no, no. no. Where? I think it's a tire. I think it was the tire. Oh, I think it was the tire. I have something to tell you. What? Um, um, I was gonna get a spare. We don't really, we don't have a spare. Um, and, and I forgot with all the you know, preparation for the trip. It was so busy. I just forgot. So, but that's okay. That's okay. We got that patch kit in the back. Remember always yeah. it from, from our last camping trip. That was our last reunion five years ago. Remember? I gave that away to, uh, that drive, that non-food food drive. Um, I didn't think we needed it not there anymore and uh, and and i didn't pay the triple a membership fee this year so we have no roadside assistance edit <clears throat> well when i think of it's charged i remember a time i went down to visit my mom and my sister and my two nephews and um when we were down there my sister wanted to meet up with some neighbors that were also down in florida so we went to a Marriott hotel where they were staying and we had a great time in the pool with all the kids. The other couple had had two kids and, and my two nephews knew them, of course, from their hometown, Virginia. So they had a great time. And being the wonderful aunt that I am, uh, I volunteered after, uh, after everybody was swimming to help the boys get into their regular clothes, to get them out of their bathing suits. And, um, there was, didn't really seem to be anybody else around that day for some reason. And there was a, a, a restroom right next to the, to the pool area. So I took them in there and I, and I put my purse down on the floor and then I went into one of the stalls and helped. Now, now I should say that my nephew was very young. I wasn't helping them get dressed when they're in the jeans. They're about three and five at that time. So I got them all dressed and we picked up, I picked up my purse and, and we left. And then two days later, uh, when I was about to get on a plane to uh, go back home, um, I was just happened to pick, I, you know, I was at my mom's. What do I really need my wallet for? And uh, I found my wallet in my purse. And 
I went to get some money to pay for the the car ride I was going to be taking and I realized my license was gone all my money was gone my credit cards were gone and literally maybe three minutes that I was in the stall someone had come and taken my purse and the only reason I actually knew was that uh like minutes later my husband called and said there's a there's a, a message on our answer machine from uh American Express act asking, did you make these charges? It didn't seem there was like $300 at Toys R Us. And um, it was that also that somebody had gone to a tire shop and bought a used tire, a salsa record, and a bottle of orange soda. I mean, it took months literally to get these charges off my bill, but I thought $300 at Toys R Us. If I was going to steal somebody's, well, at least you know, get the kids some toys. I feel kind of good about it. See, I found this credit card. <laughs> we could go use it. We could have a spending spree. Oh my God. <laughs> That'd be so great. That would be so great. Look. I think we suffer too much anyway. You know, our job at, you know, at the fast food, you know, pouring out those slushies is, I think this is a message. This is a message, Jolene. And I think we're going to take advantage of that message. Where should we go first? Oh, 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 I think we should go. I think we should go to 7-Eleven and get the extra large Slurpees. I always wanted to do that. I could never afford it. Yeah. And, 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 and lottery tickets. Yeah. 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 That's okay. where I want to go. This is going to sound really you? weird. This is weird. I've got, I've got this dream. I've had this dream of taking like flamenco classes, you know, and uh -huh. uh, like salsa. And uh, I think we should sign up, like get like two years worth of lessons. And then, you know, at least we'll get something paid for them right now. We'll get it under our belt, and then we're going to win a con contest. Oh, my gosh. We'll be famous. I do, I have to eat, I do I have to eat the salsa? I don't like salsa. No, 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 no. There's kind of music. It's it's not, which it can be a food, but it's oh, kind of music. Oh, it's that hip, that hip action. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, so. All right. I'm going right in. Let's take, you know, what do you do? Is, is that a I'm sandwich? Idiot. Are you having a I'm sandwich? Kidding. I'm petting it. I'm, 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 I'm admiring it. I'm admiring this, this Visa card. Would you like to give it a kiss for me? Yeah. <laughs> so where do you want to go? Where do you want to go first? Well, let's go right. I mean, how about, why don't we get a makeover? Okay. And I want, I want, you know, I think I'm now I'm looking at you right now and I'm thinking that we need to upgrade our appearance, you know, like something we can do first before we go on our spending spree to kind of get, you know, create a, and a better impression. I mean, you know, your hair's a little stringy, you know, don't take it personally. You know, it's all that grease from all the food. You gotta, I think a little makeover, you know, a little makeover, just to, you know, a little pinch your cheeks a bit. Yeah. Makeover, yeah, yeah, adjust those glasses a bit. Let your, yeah, okay. Let how about me? Look, I don't me think I sweet. really, I don't really think I need anything, but, uh, you well, know, just tell me um, one thing, one thing that I could, you know, because well, since I, you're going for a makeover. I think you can, I think you can get that nose job you've been wanting. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of to the, you it's know, to the side like that. It's kind of to the to the it's, that side. Yeah, that's my yeah. weak sinus. So that's you, my weak. And, and we tried. We did try to move it, but it didn't really take. Yeah, that clothespin did not do it at all. Yeah, didn't no. do it. No, no. So I think that's a good idea. So yeah, we could do the we could do the 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 nose thing. We could do the lottery tickets thing and the slurpy thing and the makeover, makeover things makeover. and then the makeover Army. things yeah. right. before the owner calls. Visa and says it's missing. Add it.
Josephine, <laughs> I found this. <laughs> well, wait, hold on. I should get down on my knees. I found this ring <laughs> today, and um, it was just kind of laying in the bathroom of the gas station. I I stopped at, and I've been wanting for so long to ask for your hand in marriage. <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh, Betsy, no, no. I, I... No, but you didn't even look at the ring. It's gorgeous. I don't think I have to look at the ring. You found it on the floor in a gas station. I... I... Yeah, Not like I, I thought you would be thrilled. You're always saying I'm lucky. Not today you're not lucky because I I just <laughs> feel like you were, you know, there was no planning behind it. I, I don't you know. Well, no, there was a lot of planning. I've been thinking for a long time about asking you. I just didn't have the wherewithal to <laughs> carry through with the proposal and then when I saw this ring it was like this is my lucky day and I'm going to bring it to Josephine and we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. Betsy I don't think you've I don't think you have found your wherewithal if, if simply finding something on the I mean what else I <sighs> Am I going a to find what? my wedding dress maybe behind a dumpster somewhere? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I would enjoy that because you know how much I like the reuse and recycle and rewear policies. <laughs> Are we going to get our first house in a foreclosure? And probably. I this I don't think this is you know I really think that if we're going to start out our married life together it should be something you know that we do together and, and we plan and jo jo Josephine you and I have been exclusive for so many years and you hinted that you wanted to have me put a ring on it. And I'm doing the best that I can here. I mean, that, wait a second. Let me see. Is that, is that a pear shape? Is that a pear shaped diamond? Yes. I mean, how perfect is that? I mean, we had pears this morning in our Cheerios. <laughs> Oh, it's it's rose gold. You know I love rose gold. I mean, it was a it was really fine. And I took it home and washed it off with bleach just to make sure that it would be pristine when I slipped it on your finger. Bleach? Bleach, yeah, just to make sure that there was no lingering, lingering um thingies from whoever spring had whosever finger the ring had been on <laughs> was the finger still attached to the ring <laughs> no 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 that that scene came from that horror movie we watched last week I never ever kind of a person do you think I am, Joseph? Person who thinks that I can get away with anything? <laughs> Edit. Look, get me on the plane. I gotta get on the plane. You gotta, you gotta let me on. Yes, I know I don't have my ID. I know I lost my ID, but I'm the pilot, and I've, I've got to get. I'm sorry. We cannot let anyone on this plane without appropriate ID. 
You know that. You're a pilot, as you said. It must have gotten stolen or something, but I've got to get on. The flight leaves in 20 minutes, and I've got to be on that plane. Sorry, I'm sure we can find someone else among the passengers who'd be quite willing to fly the plane, but regulations are regulations. I, it, it, look, 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 TSA, look, I know you, Betty. You're a nice lady. Let me on. I mean, I, I, regulations, who cares? Just look, you, here's my library card. Use my library card. Captain Bishop, you know better than anyone that if I just let you through, how do I know this isn't a test? Maybe you're just testing me. See if I'll let you through. Oh my God, no, 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 I am not testing you. Look, look, the plane's gonna, I'm gonna get fired. I am good. They're not gonna let me do this again. I can't help it if somebody, I don't know what happened to my ID. I went in a bathroom and that's the end. I said, can't, can't do anything about it. You're gonna have to find another way. Um, let's see. Nah, I can't come up with anything. I can't come. I just. Betty, I know your brother. I, I went out with Fred the other day. We, we were hanging out at the sky bar. You know me, right? And you, you came and joined us. We had a nice drink. We, we were friends. We, we, it was good. Actually, that's the other thing I've been meaning to talk about. You're drinking just before you're about to fly. I, this is. No, no, no. I always leave an extra. I do the regulation hour. You know, I haven't been. Oh my God. Uh, why can't you just. Okay. Look, how about this? You believe in me. You trust me. And, and here, here's my when Shriners did I, card. When did, I, when did I say any of that? I didn't say I believed in you or your trust. Just because we have a drink together. You think a scene. Okay, we'll stop it there. Yes, let's bring everybody back. Thank you so much for joining us for our Armando set. Uh, I've been Adam Colley, and uh, we are the Upside Down Players, but individually we are. I am Lauren from uh, Dallas, Texas. Jude outside Seattle. Holly, Atlanta. Carol from Northwood, Pennsylvania. Sandy in Tucson. And I'm Adam from Toronto, but here's Nikki. <laughs> Woohoo, and thank you so much. You all are just so much fun. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next week, because guess what? They're going to be back next week. Yahoo, welcome. Welcome back, Upside Down Players. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the Follies tonight. And just like I said, we're back every single Sunday, starting somewhere around 8 p.m. and going as long as we have teams that are going to let us have them perform. So thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Stay warm. Bye-bye.